We're up to time of the Varamida Vav, Ki Chafetz Chesed Hu. I want to encourage you to learn the introduction that we posted and all of the Midas until now. Ki Chafetz Chesed Hu, he desires kindness. Hashem desires kindness. Says the time of the Vera. Elsewhere we explain that there is a known chamber in heaven. There is an unknown chamber in heaven, angels that are appointed to receive the kind deeds that each person does in this world. When Hashem's attribute of justice raises accusations against the Jewish people, those angels immediately present these kinds of deeds, these kind deeds, and Hashem has mercy on Israel, since he desires kindness. And even if they are guilty, Hashem has mercy on them when they deal kindly with one another. This is how it was at the time of the destruction of the Beis HaMikdash. Gabriel, Gavriel, the angel, was instructed, come between the Ofanim, for he is the officer of judgment and Gvura, and he is given permission to receive the powers of judgment between the Ofanim, underneath the Kruvim, from the fire of the Mizbeach, which means the judgment of Gvura of Malchus. And the judgment would grow stronger until it would want to destroy everything, to exterminate Gans Klal Yisrael, for they were deserving of annihilation. And therefore, it is written afterwards. It is further written, the Kruvim appeared to have the form of a hand under their wings. That is Hashem said to Gavriel. They act with kindness to one another. So even if they are guilty, they will be saved and they will have a she'eris, a remnant. The hatam, why is this so? The reason for the salvation is that Hashem displayed the attribute of ki chesed hu. He desires kindness, which means b'mashi Yisrael goyim lem chesed v'oisay tzad masker lohem im hayoyis she'enim k'sherim b'tzad acher. When Klal Yisrael acts kindly, and, his, and this aspect he remembers for their merit, even if they are guilty in all other respects. Therefore, in Cain, it's proper for a person to behave with this attribute even towards someone who harmed or angered him. If he has a positive side, he acts kindly towards others, or he has a good trait in which he acts properly, it should be enough for him to subdue his anger against him, be assuaged, desire kindness, and say, that good point that he has is good enough for me. All the more so does this apply to his wife, as our sages say, it should be enough for us that they raise our children and save us from sin. So too he should say about every person, it is enough for me, this good deed that he has done for me or someone else, or this good trait that he has. And when you do that, you emulate Hashem, it's chafetz chesed. Definition of the attribute. When a person has been wronged or angered, and he can find no way to judge the perpetrator favorably. He can soothe his anger by remembering a good deed that the perpetrator once did, or thinking about a good trait that he might have. If by doing so, he manages to soothe his anger, he awakens Hashem's merciful, merciful attribute of ki chesedhu, for he desires kindness, bringing that element of mercy into the world, which is so key, and it's what he keeps on saying. When you do this, you actually bring that midah that you did into the world for Gans Klai, so for the world, that Hashem is going to go and add on, open up that sinar, and do more of that for Klai Yisrael. So when you're able to do something like that, that you're in that matziv, you can change, you can bring so much chesed into the world. Practical example. Mrs. Sachs perked her ears to the ground of a, so a child's wailing coming up the stairs of her apartment building. She could tell right away that it was her son David. She had hoped to have a few minutes of quiet as David, David rode his bicycle outside, but apparently it was not meant to be. She could only imagine what might have happened. He must have fallen off his bike, crashed into someone or something like that. Finally, the door slammed open and little David came in, red-faced and crying, his clothes all stained and rumpled. What happened, she asked. Between his sobs, he managed to get the story out. I, I was riding my bike and Maishi wanted to turn, but I didn't let him. Why not, she asked. Because last time he asked for a turn and then he wouldn't give it back afterwards. He just kept on riding around and around. So this time I didn't let him. And then he knocked me off my bike and took it. His story told, little David burst into tears again. 
Mrs. Sachs took her son's story to heart. It pained her to see her child so hurt and offended. They didn't have much money, and buying him a new bike had been a costly purchase. She hoped that at least he would enjoy it. But instead, the bicycle was a constant source of conflict between him and their neighbor's nasty child, Maishi. She would have realized, she should have realized that there would be trouble with Maishi, who was always causing some kind of mischief. This time he had gone too far. How could he be so cruel and selfish as to knock another child off of his bicycle and take it by force? She had finally had it with Maishi. She would speak to his parents and speak to their school too, making sure that they kept Maishi far away from David from now on. Maybe they'd be better off even switching David to a different school. Her anger built up inside of her until she was about to explode. When suddenly, lucky for her and for Maishi too, her husband walked in through the door just a moment before she called her, Rebbe's son, her son's Rebbe. Barely able to control her anger, she told him the whole entire story. Rav Sachs thought about it for a moment and said, Yes, Maishi is a feisty little kid who does whatever comes to his mind without thinking about it much. But let's not forget how he saved Leah, the girl downstairs, from Mr. Alon's dog last year. That was really brave and resourceful of him to fight off a dangerous dog using a broomstick that he found in the lobby. Imagine what would have happened to Leah had he not been there. Mrs. Sachs was not convinced. What does that have to do with anything? Because of one good deed he did, he can do anything he wants now? He's involved in every fight in the neighborhood. What does that say about him? On the other hand, Ruff Sachs said, many of those fights involve him protecting weaker kids from the bullies. Let me speak to his parents, but don't do anything against him now. He has a good side to him too. When we overcome our anger and forego some complaint we have against someone, in light of some kindness he has done, Hashem responds in kind. When a harsh accusation arises against the Jewish people, Hashem remembers the good deeds we have done or good attributes that we have and uses it to assuage his anger. He tilts the scales to deal kindly with us. Why? Because he desires kindness. Okay.